Greetings from the Southern Yankee Homestead. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. So this video is going to be based on making Guyanese coconut biscuit. This is a snack I ate a lot when I was younger. I was a child and I always love it. Anyways, why am I making this today? Because last night <laughs> I was dreaming about it and I woke up at 3 a.m. researching how to make Guyanese coconut biscuit. So I found a recipe and here I am in the kitchen to try making this myself because I don't think I can find that biscuit anywhere here in the United States. And I don't think anybody's gonna send it for me. It's gonna to take too long. So here I am trying to make it. So the things you are going to need for the biscuit. You are going to need brown sugar, cinnamon, vanilla extract, butter, all-purpose flour, and grated coconut. So if you have watched my video on making coconut oil, you'll know you'll see how to process a dry coconut. Just go ahead and watch that video and it's going to give you step-by-step -step direction on how to process your dry coconut so you can have the uh, kush kush. Um, other than that, let's start making some biscuits. Alright, our first step is going to be mixing the sugar, the coconut, and the shortening together just as if you were mixing um, sugar and butter to make a cake. Alright, so that's the first thing we're going to do. Let's grab Alright, we're going to need two and three quarter cups of grated coconut. All right, next thing we're going to need is a cup, one cup and one tablespoon of brown sugar. And then we need our sharpening. Next, we're going to go ahead and mix this until it's nice and creamy for at least 15 minutes or 10 minutes or so. Get our implement on here. All right, so we've been mixing for about 10 minutes. Scrape it down. All that sugar has dissolved. I don't hear any crunch as I stir around, so this is what your mixture should look like. All right, next we're going to add one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And then one teaspoon of vanilla extract and like we say where I'm from essence all right oh yeah this has a lovely aroma so what we're gonna do now we're gonna switch out our paddle and we're gonna go to a dough hook because we're essentially making a, a dough here our dough hook attachment and this next step, we're going to be adding uh, three, three and a half cups of flour. But this part's a little tricky because you want to add it a little at a time and you want to make sure it's fully incorporated before we add more flour. So we're going to start off with half a cup. Thank 
see it's beginning to form up a nice dough. All right, so our dough is finished. This next step, we're gonna flour the surface and we're gonna roll it and cut it into uh, biscuit shape, cookie shape, whatever. If you're like us and you do not have a cookie cutter, a good old glass will work, you know, whatever, whatever diameter you want your cookies to be. Just use whatever glass. All right, so we're gonna use a glass to cut our cookie today. Not cookie, our biscuit. Before we do that, however, let's go ahead and preheat our oven to let's see here 350 degrees all right all right so we're going to flour our surface so i'm going to work with the first half of the dough here see it's like a nice little ball and i'm going to flour my rolling pin as well And then we want to roll this to a thickness shy of a quarter inch. So nice and thin. And then I'm just going to go ahead and flour the rim here of my glass. I'm just going to go in and make my indentations. So you don't need a, a cookie cutter. You can make whatever you got in your house work. This is just a cake decorating spatula I'm just going to use, improvising, to help me pick the biscuit up off the neck. And we're just going to go ahead and grab the scraps, make it back into another ball, flour our surface again, and do the end repeat. All right, so here's our first two batches of cookies. We're about to put it in the oven. And we're gonna cook it for 15 minutes. Actually, it should be 18, but we're gonna do 15 first. And we're gonna check it. We're gonna check it halfway through, and when we check it halfway through, we're also gonna rotate the pans. Put the top one in the bottom, and the bottom in the top. So the cookies are done, and I took a break, and I left Han to take care of the cookies while I took a break. And come to find out, he already taste tested the, did I say cookie? He already taste tested the, <sighs> he already taste tested the biscuits and he didn't take a piece he took two biscuits already off camera so here they are on the cooling rack and then this that just came out and I came back just in time as he was struggling to get it out not understanding why he's struggling it's not the first time he's using the oven but he was struggling because he had a whole cookie in his mouth at the same time did I say cookies he got me saying cookies coconut biscuit in his mouth but anyways, we're going to have him taste a third one, maybe half. <laughs> we'll have him taste one on camera so he can be uh, the judge. And mind you, Hun has never been to Guyana. Hun has never tasted any of these foods, only when I make it. So, yeah. Go ahead, Hun. But I still do a pretty good job of making Guyanese stuff. Yeah, he did a good job making um, polori and sour. So maybe he'll do that on camera for you guys one day. All right, go ahead. I can eat now? You can eat now. You can taste test it now again and give the audience your, your opinion too. You guys can hear the crunch? It's still warm. Blue, out, 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 out. So they're kind of like a cracker with just a little sweet taste. So think of a graham cracker, but not quite as sweet is the best way I can describe it. Okay, what about the flavor in terms of the flavor? It 
No, you eat your half. I'm talking about the this flavor. This is the other half. Go ahead. How about the flavor? Doesn't have a whole lot of coconut flavor, which surprises me. Hmm. Tastes good. Um, a biscotti? Kind of tastes like a biscotti. Okay. Fair enough. Well, you heard there from the judge. Now I'm going to try one. It's a little pale, but I don't know why. Hmm. I can taste the coconut just fine in here. Maybe I have COVID. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. And then the crunch. Mmm. This is good. This is really good. Very good. I like it. Hopefully, we wouldn't eat all of it all at once. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you want, if you're a Guyanese out there and you think I did something wrong or I can do something better, uh, please feel free to leave your comment down below and if you're non guyanese and you want to try the recipe go for it um other than that i hope <laughs> i hope you all enjoyed this video and i will see you on the next one bye bye <laughs>